How's it going, fan fans? Welcome to my 100th question of the quo. The competition where I ask a question and the first person to answer correctly gets a point. And whoever gets the most points in a year wins. This game called Mind Trap, which is basically a game full of really tricky riddles. Um, there are a lot of fun with friends and family. You team up and compete against each other. Today's episode, we'll have a clue to a, que to a question that no one's got the right answer to yet. Plus, we're going to be answering three questions from the past. The first question we're answering is a word with three syllables, and I gave you a clue to each syllable, and you have to figure out what each syllable was to get the words. The first syllable is a body part. The second syllable is a sound a letter of the alphabet makes, and the third syllable is a type of insect. Roland Ravel says butterfly, and the correct answer is butterfly. That means Roland Ravel is a winner for that question. Congratulations to you. Time to get to our second question, and our second question is a brand with two syllables. The first syllable is something a fire makes, and the second syllable is something you can open. Stephen Armitage says Ashdor. Jess says Lighthouse. And the correct answer is Colgate. And unfortunately, no one got the right answer. But Jess gave us an answer that was technically correct, so she gets the point for that question. Here's the question to you. Time to get to our third question. And our third question was fill in the blanks. Blank bean, ice blank, and blank machine. One word will fit these three blanks. Roland Favell and Jess both said coffee. And the correct answer is coffee. And the first person to comment and our winner for that question is Jess. Congratulations to you. You're the winner for that question. We also had a bonus question and the bonus question was to put a word that could have gone in the list. Jess says black coffee. Roland Ravel says black coffee, coffee cake, coffee ginger, coffee grinds and coffee cups. Now all those bonus answers are correct but I did say one bonus answer per person. That gives Roland Ravel 7.5 points in my greatest of all time leaderboard. And that puts him in 4th place. And that gives him 2.5 points in my winner of the year leaderboard. And that puts him in 7th place. And that gives Jess 2.5 points, which puts her in 14th place in my greatest all time leaderboard. And that puts her in 7th place in my winner of the year leaderboard. Time to get to this is question. And the question is, which word means to knock something over, give someone advice, give someone money, and is another word for the top of something. Time to get to your question with a clue, but I'm actually going to add some stuff for the question this time. So the word is a sentence with two missing words, and those missing words are homophones, which means that it's the same word, pronounced the same, spelled differently, and with different meanings. The sentence is, Jim got sick of his first meaning as a builder, so he moved to a second meaning to start a new one. Now it's time for some thinking music. Pause the video if you need more time. Leave your answers in the comments below and I'll announce the winner in the next episode of Le Quo.